Hey guys, so now we're going to solve this triangle. It looks like it's an SAS because I have a side, an angle, and a side. So what I'm going to do in that case is law of cosines, and that's the law of cosines. In this case, my C is going to be what I have for the angle, and then I'll have my A and my B, and I'll end up solving for this side first. So I'll show you guys it written out. So that's step one right there. My little a is the one opposite the capital A angle, and my little b is the one opposite the capital B. Now this is 16, this is 9. This ends up giving us 12, so it's minus 24. Cosine 60 is 0.5. So we add these together. It's 25 minus 12. We end up with 13. Now we got little c, the square root of 13, which approximately equals 3.61. Now we have this side. We needed one of these other two angles. We're able to use law of sines now since we have an angle and a side opposite of it. So I'm going to use the law of sines. Sine so cross multiply, divide by root 13. So then we end up with sine b equals 0.721. And then we'll sine inverse both sides. And b equals 46.1 degrees. And then to get for the last angle, we know these three angles add up to 180. And now we have this triangle solved. So I hope that made sense, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.